one of the who left this school to Alliance, where your son is, last year he topped in Alliance. He topped in Alliance. Collins Grammar. So when you go back, you find out Collins Grammar was here also. So your son is also on the top in Alliance. And the many other boys up there, they do very well. They do very well. There's also another parent here. I've forgotten your name. We met in the morning. Uh, his son uh, has scored uh, 390 here. And he has brought, yeah, he's there, he's there. Uh, the boy now is at Kanga, at Kanga High School. So he said, he's seeing the boy at, at Kanga. His son here, grade five. And I'm sure our there are so many of them to ask. Isn't it even about us? They are here. So I want to get the best. Our school motto is better your best. So we sat with the teachers and we have agreed that at the end of this year our result must even be better. It is going to improve. We have agreed with the committee. We have sat down with the board of management, the, 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 the section of uh, academic matters. We have laid strategies on what we are going to do to get the best result this year. And luckily enough, this, uh, we have had a class conference with class eight. It's a better class. It's a better class. Uh, uh, and we expect excellent results. What also gives me more pleasure and happiness is the current junior secondary school we have here, grade seven. And in fact, they did very well. If we were to have the ranking, I'm sure our school could have done wonderfully well. In the middle county could have been the best. Why am I saying so? I'm saying so because all those boys we had in grade six, they came back for grade seven. After we sent them the results of Gipsea, the assessment they did, they found the slips very colorful. What do I mean by colorful? They have always scored exceeding expectation. Very many of them, very many exceeding expectation in, uh, land, uh, in, the, in the learning areas. So that gave me confidence that what we are doing is so good. Actually, there's one boy who they were transferring because of the uh, father had been transferred to another place. But when they reached on the way, still the boy told the parent, I want to go back to that school. And they came back with the box, with the mattress, everything. <laughs> and they are here. So we are now full house. Out of the 122 boys we had last year for grade six, all of them returned. And they're here, very happy for their junior secondary. And the junior secondary, we have started on a very high note. The government has sent us four teachers. And some of them could be here. They have sent us four teachers. One of them is there, Mr. Siago. You see, he has eaten very well. So the, the school is going to do very well. Madame Athenes Bonareri, uh, she's also here. Uh, and Madame Naomi. And Mungare, they are still uh, teaching up there. Uh, Naomi is teaching uh, chemistry and biology, but because they are not being taught directly, they are handling it in, in the integrated science. And then others, history uh, uh, theory, Madam, history theory also, and Mr. Mungare, math, Kiswahili, and business uh, studies. So we have started very well. Together with the other teachers who are here, who have diploma, we have so many teachers here with diploma and the degrees, they are helping in the junior secondary. Apart from that, we have other teachers also with special skills, they are also teaching the junior secondary. And we are very happy. They are started on a very high note. That class is going to do very well in grade nine. When they go to grade nine, ready to join the senior secondary, they will have been prepared very well. So in a nutshell, what I was saying, 
we are preparing our boys very well. I don't want to repeat, the teachers have told you so many things on what we are doing. I just wanted to give a recap. I want to say a few things. This is a public boys boarding primary school as sponsored by the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. It is in Nyansiongo Parish, uh, Borabu Sub County, Nyamira uh, County. For those of you who may not be knowing, we have CBC up to grade seven, and the last cohort of eight for four, they are in grade class eight, uh, who will exit at the end of this year. Now, we usually have you here. This is a class conference uh, that we call you here because nowadays we have half time, even in primary schools. That is why we have you here for class conference and then later they come home for uh, uh, half term. That's why we don't have a visiting day per se. So we simply have a class conference where you come to uh, discuss the academic matters of your son and they see the best way you can do to help him improve so you can uh, the, the, the class teachers numbers are there learning areas what the teacher is teaching you will need to know who is teaching theory who is teaching mathematics activities if your son is not doing well in mathematics activities you can talk to the teacher and you advise one another on the best way you can engage to have the child improve. And I know the teacher is not going to ask you for money. They are very good teachers here. They simply assist the weak learners. They assist them, and I love that. I also want to recognize the presence of the deputy principal. Uh, minute. So you see Yansiongo High School, they are doing very well. Before our boys who were here never used to go there they were saying, I don't want to cross the fence. But nowadays, because they are doing very well, most of our boys are also still going, going there. So kindly greet them. Hey, thank you very much, uh, the principal St. Andrew our boys. My name is uh, Eric Amenya, a teacher of mathematics and also Deputy Principal, St. Kizito Nyansiongo Boys High School. I want to say that we've got a very cordial relationship with this school. They are our younger brothers. We share a lot. We share the church together. These boys will be there tomorrow in the morning. We share mass there. And then they have been doing very well. Sometimes we come over and share a meal with them. I want to say that uh, all of us are very lucky to have our children learning in this school because indeed it is a performing school and I have no doubt in my mind that the boys will do well. The cohort remaining in 844, the standard eight, and even uh, the CBC. Uh, quite a number of the boys here have transited to our school. They are doing very well. And I want to say that uh, St. Kizito Yansiongo Boys High School is no longer the sleeping giant that you used to know. Uh, in a period of now three years running, we have been able to register a mean of above eight. Specifically in the last two years, our mean was above nine. And in those years, and in those years, all our boys proceeded to university with the last grade being a C plus. Like in last year, we had only four C pluses. So even as the boys move from here to our school there, they are in very safe hands. I want to wish this school well, as it produces a very good uh, upright students, both academically and even in character so that we can move together as a team. Thank you very much, the principal and the team here. God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, even his uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, boss, the principal, also the son is here. They have a lot of confidence in us, and uh, we are feeding them with very good uh, 
boys, very bright. And our boys here speak English. So they get it very quickly, wherever they go. Even if they go to Alliance, they fit very well, I can tell you there. Even if they go to Kanga, Kapsavet, wherever they go. Now, uh, very briefly, I would like to say that uh, a few things I would like to tell you that they have not mentioned. We would like that always you leave your sons with 500 shillings as pocket money all the time, and that money is kept with the BASA. Just for any eventualities, for any unforeseen uh, circumstances, they can use it to replenish uh, their personal effects. So you leave them with 500 or more, but not exceeding 1,000 shillings. Uh, such that also in case of uh, uh, they are coming home and you are far, they can still use that for fair. A school fees payment, we encourage you to be paying school fees in time so that your sons are not sent home. And remember, they are very young. Now imagine them being on the road, very young, being on the road coming home. And for them, they are very honest. When they meet the neighbors at home, they'll tell them I've been sent home for school fees. <laughs> they are very honest. They'll, then, they'll tell them we have been chased away because uh, I've not been paid for. They don't know this uh, creating some shame. They don't know the other side of the coin that brings about. For them, they are simply honest. They say what it is. So try as, like, as much as possible, please, to... Uh, fin uh, make the payment of fees in a good time. Next, like you have been told, give your sons uh, psychological support in learning. Where they are not doing well, encourage them. Ask them what is uh, the, the problem, what the problem is, and then together with the teachers, uh, a solution can be found and they'll do well. Regarding sickness, as you have been told, uh, we take care of your sons very well. In the case one gets sick, uh, we, we, we have a nurse, like you have been told, and then if she's not able to manage them, she's a lady, we'll take them to Nyansiongo Mission Hospital. And if the condition uh, 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 requires further attention, we contact you. Now, at that point, we contact you. What we don't contact you, it means it's manageable. It's manageable, it's easy. We will do it on your behalf. Uh, what we treat for outpatient, we, the, the school takes care of that. But when it, the boy is admitted, is in the patient, then you'll come in. When other tests are required, like um, uh, uh, some tests that you know, uh, that take a lot of money, uh, then that one, you will be called upon to uh, uh, attend to that. But otherwise, we thank God because young children usually do not have many complications except a very few, very few. So they don't require like scans and other things which are expensive. We thank God for that. So we take care of that. Matters of patient, we absorb that very quickly. And any other serious emergencies, and then we get to inform you. Uh, when the boys are supposed to come home, they need to come with a, an exit, a permission a cheat, showing that they have been permitted to be out officially. If he comes home without one, he has escaped. We have met Roka Huyo. Aki ya nyumbani bila karatazi ya kumuonisha komba, amekubali wa kutoka shuleni rasmi, huyo basi katoroka. Lakini mwaka huo, na fraya sana vile walimu wamesema, ni kama muliongea na wanafunzi, Vizuri, inatakiwa kwamba kapa ujajikua mtubo katika boarding school, unaongea na yeye. Unamuambia pala ambapo unaenda, si hoteli, si hoteli utakula chapati na nini na nini na mandazi. Unamuambia pale, uta, yale yako pale ufuate, vile wengine wanafanya, hivo hivo, uh, unamueleza, you prepare him psychologically. I'm happy you did that. Uh, mwaka huu watoto wajateroka, I'm very happy. Uh, so they have gotten a very good environment uh, for them to learn. So for that, I'm very happy. I'm very happy indeed. And because of that, uh, we had talked with the administration 
about the pajamas. Formerly, uh, the boys used to have pajamas many years ago, but the teachers came to realize that uh, they could use them when they want to sneak and run away so they could be in them. And the sneak, you can't know this as a school student. But over the years, they have improved. There's no sneaking, there's no escaping. So we are thinking of reintroducing the pajamas. Pajamas are the 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 the, 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 the night clothes that they'll be using. Uh, so we'll give you, we tell you what should happen, so that next time when we begin, we begin with that. Now, uh, uh, what's up? WhatsApp, we have created a WhatsApp wall for all classes, all streams, where useful and official communication is done. You are told what takes place here in school. And for you, you can also uh, give useful information. Uh, any information you give, at the end of it all, ensure it benefits in the long run. It is going to benefit the child and it's going to promote cohesion is going to promote peace and common purpose that we are gathered here for all of us. Any message you have, that is what that, that you post in the group must be important for the group and geared toward raising the academic standards of the school. So all of you will be added into that group and it will be very useful for use uh, official communication. Like the deputy has told you about food, bringing food, uh, we have not been having it here for many years. And when I also came, I realized there is logic in that. There is a point in that. Because imagine some boys are orphans. Some are coming from Mombasa. They don't have anybody uh, bringing them such. So, the psychology of the child, especially where food matters are concerned, is not like adults. For us adults, we have no problem. Even if you see somebody eating his own chapati there, whatever he's eating, it doesn't concern you so much. Because you know you'll get your time and it takes yours. But for the children, it is, it is a serious issue. It is a serious matter. It's a very serious one. So that's why we uh, strive for uniformity. And the goodness, they are aware. So they'll not kill you. They understand. They are aware. And that's why we have also made it very easy for you. So that you don't carry so many things, struggling here and there. Even if you don't have it, uh, you, you, you only came with your affair. That is it. Is what you can go back with. You don't struggle a lot. They are aware. And uh, all is going on very well. Uh, because of those foods, they are a source of many cases if, if that would have been allowed. Very many cases. Because I was in a boarding school also. During those days, we used to have visiting days and foods were allowed. But Magnus, you know that. We could dissolve so many cases. Some have excess food in the box, hidden there. But they bring roiko, want to mix with the food they are given. So many cases, some food is rotten, uh, they have food poisoning. So many cases, I tell you. If I were to give the reasons, it, it's about 20 pages I can write on uh, the demerits of that. I can write 20 to 30 pages. So uh, when it's uh, a constant like this uniform, it is better uh, for us. The textbooks, the school provides the textbooks. But there's no harm where a teacher advises you to get a supplementary, you can provide. Exercise books will do the same, we provide them, except like other areas like handwriting. If a teacher asks you, uh, a teacher of English, he wants your son to have a better handwriting, he, he, he can get it and then he's uh, taught on how to use it. The graph books and a drawing book for art and craft. Uh, you, you've been told a uh, lot. And I said I was going to be very brief, very brief indeed. And now at this uh, point in time, I would like to give the class reps, those who are in grade four, automatically transit to grade five. Uh, those who are present kindly come and greet uh, the, the, the parents. 
And then after this, after our meeting, we will go aside grade four, those in uh, stream red and blue. You choose one class rep uh, uh, with the help of the class teachers. You will choose a class rep who will be your class representatives. Our representatives, yes. So at this point in time, uh, the class rep, whoever is present, come forward and uh, greet the other parents. Do we have any? There's one who asked for permission. He had a similar uh, event in a, uh, another place. So we have one here. She'll greet you and tell you her name and the class she was. So automatically for us, she's again the class rep for this year. Uh, welcome. Thank you. My name is Emma. Emma Nyamwe, and I was class representative. My name is Emma Nyamwe, and I was class representative grade four red last year. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much, madam. She's the class rep, and she continues to be. Then, before I finish, then I will uh, allow you, a few of you, to uh, uh, give your reactions, about two or three. We respond to them, and then we break. Now, before that, the security of your children while they are in school here is we, we try our level best. Uh, to give them the best security. We have watchmen, and we also have the CCTV camera. So they are taken care of very well while they are in here. So you, that's the reason we need you to talk to them, uh, and they should not be running away, escaping. If they have a problem, uh, they can share with us. Now, another thing we would like to, if you have any issues, uh, you need to tell us the person you want to visit your son like a day like today, make it very clear. If you have any challenge, when I'm talking like this, I understand what I'm talking about. Uh, if you have any challenge, you tell us the name of the person specifically, whom, if you are not there, is the only one you trust to come and see your son. So you'll give us that name, so that under the contact, so that we get to know uh, the person. Our school diet is normal, like you are told. We don't provide a special diet. Otherwise, it will uh, call for employment of more kitchen staff and the payment of more uh, money for that. Uh, we have circulars, like the teacher told you, when at the end of the time we give the children newsletters where we tell you what has been happening the whole time and what we need to be done the, after that. So be reading them, they are very, 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 very important uh, for you. So at this point in time, I would like to give a few of you uh, chances uh, to raise some areas of concern, and then after that, we are almost calling it a day. Just come forward.